Trials in an experiment with a polygraph include 98 results that include 23 cases of wrong results and 25 cases of correct results. Use a 0.01 significance level to test the claim that such polygraph results are correct less than 80% of the time. Identify the null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis, the test statistic, p-value, conclusion about the null hypothesis, and final conclusion that addresses the original claim. Use the p-value method and use the normal distribution as an approximation of the binomial distribution. Okay, so let's take a look at the claim. So when we take a look at the claim, and that's what we need to first identify here, it's saying that we want to test the claim that such polygraph results are correct less than 80% of the time. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to, we're using the p-value method, and we want to identify first the sample size. So what is the sample size? Well, the sample size is 98, because if we add 23 plus 75, that gives us 98, so therefore we have 98. Now, what is the point estimate? Well, the point estimate is based on our claim, and it says, Test the claim that such polygraph results are correct. So we have 23 that are wrong, 75 that are correct. So therefore, the point estimate is going to be 75 over 98. Okay, now it says we're testing the claim that the proportion is less than 80%. So P is going to equal 0 0.80, and therefore the complement Q is 1 minus 0 0.80, which is equal to 0 0.20. Okay, so now we want to check our requirements. Well, we know that there are 98 that were randomly selected, and there is a fixed number of those trials, independent trials, which is 98. And then the requirements is taking the sample size, multiplying it by P, and sample size times Q. Well, we know that 98 times P, which is 0.80, gives us 78.4, which is greater than 5. And then 98 times 0 0.20 gives us 19.6, which is also greater than 5. And therefore, the three requirements are satisfied. Okay, now let's state the claim and the opposite of the claim. So the claim says that the polygraph results are correct less than 80% of the time. So therefore, we would say that the claim is going to be P, which is less than 0 0.80. Okay, and therefore, the opposite of that claim would be that P is greater than or equal to 0 0.80. So now let's use that to then identify the null in the alternative hypothesis. Okay, so we know that the null hypothesis always contains the equal sign, and then we have our alternative hypothesis. We can see that the in the opposite part of the claim it has the equal sign, so we know that the null is going to be p, which is equal to 0 0.80, and therefore the claim is going to be within the alternative hypothesis and that claim is that P is less than 0 0.80. So now we can go ahead and answer our first question. So we know P is equal to 0 0.80 and P is less than 0 0.80. So for the null P is equal to 0 0.20 and for the alternative, sorry, uh, P is equal to not 0 0.20, it's 0 0.80. So the null is that P is equal to 0 0.80 and that an alternative is that P is less than 0 0.80. Let's go ahead and check our result and there's our answer. Okay, now we need to find the test statistic and round it to two decimal places. But before we do that, let's determine what is what kind of test that we're using here. So the alternative hypothesis is going to determine whether it is a left, right, or two-tailed distribution. Since this is pointing in the left direction, we know that this is a left 
tail test. Okay, and then what is the significance level that's given in the problem? Well, we can see it 0 0.01, so therefore alpha is equal to 0 0.01. Now we can go ahead and then determine what is the test statistic for the proportion. And so here is our formula. Well, we know that the sample size n is equal to 98, and we know that the point estimate okay, is equal to 75 over 98. And we know that P is equal to 0 0.80. And we know that Q is 0 0.20. So let's go ahead and plug this in our formula. So the point estimate is 75 over 98 minus the proportion, which is 0 0.80, divided by the square root of P, which is 0 0.80 times Q, which is 0 0.20, over N, which is 98. And then we're going to round that to two decimal places. So let's go ahead and use our calculator here. So parentheses 75 divided by 98, and then minus 0 0.80. That gives us our numerator. And then we're going to divide that by the square root of left parentheses 0 0.80 times 0 0.20, right parentheses, and then divide that by 98. And therefore, that gives us that result. So let's go ahead and copy that and now round that to two decimal places. So we get negative 0.8 six for our test statistics. Let's go ahead and put that in. So negative 0 0.86. And there is our test statistic. Now we want to be able to find the p-value. So since we're using the p-value method, we're first going to draw our bell curve distribution. With a mean of 0. Now the test statistic is negative, so it's going to be to the left of zero. And we know it's a left tail test. So since it's a left tail, it's only a one tail. And so we want to be able to find the p-value. Now in order to find the p-value, we want to find the probability of that test statistic of when it's less than or equal to negative 0 0.86. And then we're going to round that to three decimal places. So actually, it's asking us to round it to four decimal places. So let's go ahead and then open up StatCrunch. So since it's a Z test statistic, we're going to go to Stat, Calculators, and scroll to the Normal Calculator. Okay, we want to make sure that we're pointing to the left, and then we're going to put in a test statistic of negative 0 0.86, and we're going to round that to four decimal places, and that gives us 0 0.1949. So 0 0.1949 is our p-value. Let's go ahead and put that in there. 0 0.1949. And there is our p-value. And now we need to identify the conclusion about the null hypothesis and the final conclusion. So what do we need to do first? We need to compare the p-value with the significance level of 0 0.01. So the p-value is 0 0.1949. Significance level is 0 0.01. We can see that the p-value is greater than the significance level. We reject the null if the p-value is less than or equal to the significance level. And we fail to reject the null if the p-value is greater than significance level. So therefore, we will fail to reject the null hypothesis. Okay, now let's go back up to the claim. Now the claim contains... Uh, less than, which is not an equality. So when we try and look at the four different possibilities, 
we'd say that the original claim does not include the equality, so it could be the first or the second one, but the last two includes the equality, so we can eliminate that. Now, we failed to reject the null hypothesis, so therefore we would eliminate the first one. So therefore, this is going to be our conclusion. We would say that there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that, followed by the original claim, and we fail to reject. So we would say that we fail to reject the null hypothesis, and we would say that there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that the polygraph results are correct less than 80% of the time. Check our answer, and there is our result.